everybody this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I know y'all haven't seen me in a while all the videos I've been doing have been of my little doggy um so I so said let me go ahead and do a um tag video that I saw a couple weeks ago I was on YouTube and it was so funny me and my husband were up looking at pet videos cracking up laughing and I said I am officially not my furry friend tag and I'll put the questions below, so if you want to do it, you can do it as well. But first, let me get my little furry friend. New York, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This is my furry little friend. You see? Okay. So, the first one is, what is your pet's name? And his name is New York. Does he look like New York? Hey, New York. Hey, New York. He look like New York. His name is New York. And um, the reason we named his name is because many of you know my daughter, Otis, went off to college this year, and she's in New York. So we wanted to um, name him something that represented what we're going through in our life, and that's her going off to school this year. So we named him New York. We got him when she was in summer school um, for the summer session and so we named her New York so she didn't meet him until she got back home okay so um his name is New York what is his name what kind of pet is he and what breed as you see he's a doggy and he's a chorky which is a chihuahua and a Yorkshire Terrier mix he just licking on me I just put on lotion he just licking me um how long have you had your pet friend um we've had him for June, June July July Maybe like three months or so. He might maybe four months. He's six months. He was born May fifteenth. So he made six months yesterday. Yeah, six months yesterday. And I think we got him when he was probably like. Two How did you old. get your pet? Um, my husband's a barber. One of his clients asked us, "Did we want a dog?" They were um, planning on getting rid of another dog. I forgot the name of the dog. Um, I can't even think of the name of it, but oh, his little furry little dog with a little face. I can't think of it. One of my friends on Facebook have that dog. I can't think of it. But he was one of those. And they were trying to get rid of him. And he was a couple years old or whatever. So I guess I'm thinking that they were probably just too attached to him to give him away. Yeah, I can give him away. The other doggy, not New York, not New York. So um, they were too attached to give him away. So they asked us. Um, they said their dog was having, you know, baby puppies, and did we want one of the puppies? So we said yes. And that was New York. That was my chocolate man. Yes, you are. Get you my. That was my chocolate man. Get you my chocolate man. Yes, you are my chocolate man. Okay. Um. So they gave us the pet. How did you get your pet? Okay, how old is your pet? Okay, I said that already. He's six months. Um, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Um, he's pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything quirky. Well, you know, the only thing he does is like when my husband comes in the house, he gets real excited. He starts standing on two legs and walking backwards until my husband comes downstairs. I think I even have a video up on him doing that. Um, he a crybaby. Oh, he cries, and he is so cool, and it is so my fault. It really is my fault, Jungle Man. It's your mama fault. It's your mama fault you spoil. But he's so spoiled because he stays pretty much down here in the family room area, and we have like a, okay, we all shaky. Um, and we have a, um, a gate, a child gate up, so to keep him, you know, in one area. So, you know, we let him go through the house sometimes, but whenever, here, go ahead. Whenever I, um... I'm gonna give him a treat so he ain't good. Want a treat, took a man? They took a man, want a treat. Now he is going excited. He likes to I say treat, and he like, oh. You might took a man a treat for being put on a video, took a man. Here you go, took a man. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure. Anyway, so. That, when you say treat, he just gets all excited. Um, he steals our socks off our feet. I can't wear my house shoes down here anymore. Um, he steals them off my feet. 
what else can you do? So down here sometimes it'll be like ten pairs, ten socks just all over here because he then took all our socks. Um, and he's pretty much laid back, and I think it, you know how they say they take on your personality. So I think you know he's pretty much laid back. I'm glad he not no crazy dog and not like that. So that's pretty much it about his personality that I can think of. Um, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um, it means a lot because I I never grew up with a dog or a cat. I have a lot of allergies, and cat I cannot be around. Period. No no cat. But I never knew if I was actually allergic to a dog. I had been around them when I was little, um, but never really remember allergic reaction to to dogs. But I remember allergic reactions to cats. So I was like, okay, well, we'll see if he doesn't make me, you know, have any outbreaks or the kids or anything like that. You know, we'll keep him. So um, I think, like I say, being, not growing up with dogs, I never cared about dogs. If I saw a dog, I'm like, ugh, you know, ugh, ugh, or something like that. But now having him, I really now have a compassion for dogs. So if I see that commercial with the, you know, little sad dogs that's being mistreated, now I'm like, oh, you know, I feel bad and I feel sorry for people that mistreat animals because I'm like how could you do that how can you not be around and not a dog have passion you know so that's that's how I think of it now I'm, I'm not a fan of big dogs not saying that I don't have compassion for big dogs because I even now have any animal I have compassion for and I just think that people if you can't take care of them don't get them you know don't do that you know so one is enough that's it which I would love to, so he'll have a playmate, but what, like, really, you know, he'll probably be jealous. Like, a playmate would really do him any good. Oh, back to the personality. Now, one thing he does do, like, right now, he's looking upstairs. There's nobody there. And he'll start, like, going by the gate and start growling, like, mm, like, something is in here. What? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out, like, okay, what's in here that I don't know about? So that's um the other thing. Okay, let's see what that's one my oh and then like um he just makes me smile, you know. Um I could be just doing nothing and he do something a little crazy or, you know, come over if I say something or smile if I look at him and smile, he'll come run to me. You know, and it's like, Oh, you know, it gives you something to smile about throughout the day, even though our kids make us happy sometimes when they make us happy. But um it just gives us something to smile about. It's so funny. Even when he do something bad, and I'm like, no, no, stop. When I get him, I'm like, no, stop it, baby, stop it. It's so silly. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? I would say my pastime is taking a nap. When I get to take a nap during the day, we sit on a chair right here, get my little furry cover. I got this really big leopard cover, and it's furry. Oh, it's, I love that cover. Somebody gave it to me. Has been about 11 years ago. And I love that cover. It has to be on my bed. Winter, spring, summer, fall. And I feel good. So I get my little cover. We lay down here on a chair. Put him in my lap. And we go to sleep. We'll take like three hours of sleep. So that's pretty much my pastime. If I'm on the computer here doing something, um, you know, if I'm not getting up up and about moving a little stuff, depending on what I have on my desk right here, um, I could put him in my lap and I'll, you know, do my little work on the computer and he goes to sleep, you know. So that's it, you know. He's so little, like compassionate, little thingy. Look at me. Kiss my look at me. <laughs> and my family think I'm nuts. But they do the same thing. Um what's your saying? Okay, what are Nicknames that you call your pet. New Yorkie. Um, I call him Sugar Man. How to spell it? I've tried. I think it's like Sugar T U G G A. Sugar Man. Um, like Sugar Man, but putting T on it, talking baby talk. Hey, Sugar Man. This my little Sugar Man. This my little Sugar Man. And um, Buddy. I'll call him Buddy every now and then. And it's so funny because the other day I cooked breakfast. I think it was Monday. Yeah, Monday because my son was out of school. I cooked breakfast in the morning. My husband was still asleep. I made breakfast. And um, I took it up to him. Why? 
I don't know. I was just in a good mood, right? So I took it up to him <laughs> on the tray, breakfast in bed. I woke him up. I was like, I said, get up. So, you know, he'll think I'm tripping, right? I'm like, get up. And when he raised up and looked, he saw me with the tray. He was like, oh, that's my sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, when we're happy, we talk dog in the house, you know. Oh, what was that? My husband fixed something. He fixed something. The faucet. The faucet just stopped working. The spray will work, but the faucet wouldn't work. So he fixed it. And when he finished and I turned the hot water on, the water pressure was real good. I was like, oh, this my took me in. This my took me in. <laughs> so get to my took me in. And then when I say, like, I'm, I'm trying not to, because I don't want him jumping on me. But if I'm like, oh, that's my took me in, he's going to run over here and jump on me. So that's pretty much it. Okay, anything else? What are the names? So those are all the questions and that's my tag for my furry friend and you met my furry friend New York and feel free to do the tag if you have any pets or anything like that. So talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.